Oh, what's going on with you YouTube gentlemen? Chris here. We're coming back at y'all with another vid and what we have here today. Bam! That's right. And these are the Kraft Air Jordan 4 Proton Dust released on February 11th and these retail at $210. But the problem with this shoe was that it was not that available. Uh, a lot of shipment delays, pretty limited or whatever the case was. Uh, some stores are actually releasing these things right now So you might want to call up your local sneaker shops and see if they have uh, have them in stock or when they're gonna have them in stock They might be doing in-store raffles or something Who knows but yeah, these things were actually pretty tough to get over the weekend I mean every store I went to they didn't really have them, you know flex app didn't have them JD sports didn't have them uh, my local sneaker boutique didn't have them. So these things were pretty limited to get, you know, locally. I think um, Sneakers app did release some. I think it was like probably, probably like 100,000 pairs on sneakers, I want to say. But like, yeah, these things were actually pretty freaking limited. And this is one thing I'll say about the shoe is that there's a lot of stuff going on with the shoe. Now, it looks pretty clean, I must say. It's very clean, but they use all kind of different materials, which... I kind of like, you know, this is actually a pretty clean looking shoe. All having different leather and suede, crack leather. Is Are these worth the 210 retail? I think a lot of Air Jordan 4s are like high in retail for whatever reason. I guess it's the hype or whatever you want to call it or the special more materials. But in my opinion, I don't mind these. This is actually a really nice Air Jordan 4 to have in my collection. And this colorway of a shoe, I think it just kind of goes with a lot of things, man. It's very neutral tone, gray, a little bit like that uh, cream color to it, a little vintage look to it. I don't mind it. And also, like, you know, with the different on the side panels, usually they have the cage rubber netting and all that. They change it to this snappy suede on the side and even the uh, lace wing, which a lot of people want to talk about, that this is that cracked leather right here. And the tongue is that little fuzzy suede and throughout you guys see a little bit of cracked leather on the side and whatever can someone explain what is this piece here what does this represent i still haven't figured it out i still don't know with a lot of retail stores getting crazy shipment delays from nike i don't know what's going on to be honest it definitely makes it really tough for the regular consumers to find out how to get these shoes especially when shoes are going for you know for some type of bread and it has some height to it you know shoes are just not going to always sit on shelves on certain shoes like a shoe like this will probably not sit on shelves because once someone walks in and they see them have a full size run you know someone's going to try to get a couple pairs or call their friends up like hey can you come down and grab a pair for me or something like that so these things will be pretty tough to get but I still say you can give it a try. Uh, last week, we did get two pairs of Air Jordan 4s. We got the women exclusive Seafoam Oil Greens, and then we got Air Jordan 4 Crafts. Now, a lot of people, I think a lot of people say that they like the Seafoams better, maybe because it's more that traditional, regular you know, leather material. It's more that fire red 4 color blocking. It's clean, it's fine. I just think the green might throw some people off. But I definitely don't mind the crafts because you know what, even though it has different materials and different type of all stuff going on, it's still a whole solid one piece color and it's a neutral tone. It looks really good. For the past Air Jordan 4s that we've been getting, like, you know, the white Oreos, the black uh, military blacks, and also the Midnight Navies and these, 
I was getting tired of just having the all white Air Jordan 4s. So I definitely didn't mind the switch up on these things. And usually when they do some crazy different colorways, like what was it, the, the purple ones that we got last year, the Zen Masters, you know, I definitely wasn't, wasn't feeling those. So this one is definitely a good alternate. But hey, let's just go ahead. Let's get into this review real quick, huh? All right, all right, all right. Let's take a quick little 360 of these things. And like I said, man, they're clean to me. These things are clean to me. Box here, you get that specialty box, that gray cement. And then you have the flight with the gold jump man or more of a vintage cream jump man. But just like every other special Air Jordan 4 box. And with the shoe, man, you, like I said, they came out and they did a, something very different. All different type of materials. You guys see on the toe box here, you have that nappy suede on the toe box. You have that smooth leather onto the side panels and the toe box right here. Said a lot of differences, like instead of the rubber cage that we we're getting like on, on the tongue and even on the side, it's this suede-like material, little nappy suede, same material as it is on the toe box. Let's have a little bit of that cracked leather as well. You can see it on the side panels right here. I thought it was suede at first, but it's that cracked leather. And even on the lace wing right here, as you can see, it's like that cracked leather throughout. The lace eyelids, I do like the little touch of this vintage yellow, or on the box it says pale vanilla. More of that smooth leather on the side panels. And then you got your yellow vintage midsole, that air bubble see-through throughout. Pull tab here in the back is that, it's kind of like that dark gray, uh, translucent. Got that kind of like vintage Jumpman on the back and boss. And then on the inner side, you have more of that cracked leather here on the side. Collar, you have that suede netting on the side cracked leather on the side panels laces here you have that flap rope laces move on to the tongue here the tongue is that nappy suede as well and you have that gray tag cream jump man with the flight tag and then on the back of the tongue just like on air every air jordan 4 you got that cream yellow pale vanilla air jordan tag on the back back of the sock liner as well as that pale vanilla in the back got your gray sock liner inside got your gray insole with that yellow jump man and moving on to the bombs here on that outsole got the herringbone outsole got that pale vanilla jump man you don't want to get your soles all nasty and dirty so make sure you guys get on that drip grip use my discount code jumperman10 it is the best sole protector on the market today no slippage, no tears, multiple wears. I've worn these at a sneaker event all day, and it's still goods to go. So, guys, make sure you guys get on that drip grip. Use my discount code JUMPERMAN. So there you guys have it, man. These are the Air Jordan 4 Crafts. You guys let me know, are these a cop or not? Now, in my opinion, this is more of that, if I get it for retail, cool. If I don't, then, you know, I can just move on. But obviously with my YouTube, I do have to pay that extra so I can give you guys good content because these things were nowhere to be found. Come on, Nike. They've been messing up these releases for the past few years now, I feel like. It just seems like every hype release, it just always happened to be some type of shimba delays or something's going on or something crazy. It just always happened that way. I just wish Nike can really fix this problem, but you know it is what it is um anyways this is like i said it's a pretty clean shoe i'm glad to have it actually in my collection i will probably end up keeping these things in my collection just because i don't have this colorway type of air jordan in my collection so i definitely don't mind to have it as in with these things it fits just like every air jordan 4 you know i say about go your true to size whatever your jordan size is but remember jordan 4s are a little bulky right here so it fits a little tight so and it's kind of heavy so Whatever your Air Jordan 4 sizing is, just go for that size. Resale wise now, it's they're not really going for anything crazy. Even with the whole crazy shipment delays, not a lot of people do have pairs in hand, but these things are under 300 in some sizes, about high 200s. I do expect uh, prices to go down even more once pairs start to get, you know, more pairs are out there on the market. If you guys haven't realized, the C phones, the women exclusive, are a lot more expensive compared to these, which in my opinion, I still think is a better shoe, but you know, maybe some people just like these better. Hey, we're all have different opinions. But um, the bigger size on these things are still at like low 300s, and I think they're gonna probably stay that way just cause how limited these things were. And it's a women exclusive, so you guys already know, the bigger size is more inflated compared to these things. Potentially, could these things do some good numbers? Potentially, you know, as an Air Jordan 4s, you guys already know how it is, man. Air Jordan 4s has been the new wave. They definitely been going up. I feel like 
almost every Air Jordan 4 as of lately definitely sells out and definitely everyone's really pretty hype on it and usually with the Air Jordan 4 a clean Air Jordan 4 colorway does pretty well said, man if you guys do want these things definitely keep checking your local retail stores when they're gonna get pairs how they're gonna get pairs when they're gonna release them you just never know so maybe you get lucky walk into the mall and they'll have pairs on shelves but anyway guys i appreciate y'all i love y'all if you guys don't mind please hit that thumbs up subscribe if it's your first time here comment down below and please hit that bell for all the notifications when i do drop vids and don't forget to follow me on all my social media at german chris on ig sometime on twitter don't forget snapchat and i'm also on tiktok anyway guys appreciate y'all love y'all i'm german chris Push.